I have been using the Elgato Stream Deck Plus for a couple of weeks now. I'm not a streamer, Apple user. I do not have any streaming app account. Buying this device was a mistake. Let's find out. Elgato Stream Deck Plus has the typical buttons. You can customize them as you wish. Nothing spectacular so far. But the touchscreen and the physical knobs make this streaming device unique and appealing also for non-streamers. Switch between the pages with the touchscreen. Use the knobs to adjust volume, brightness or scroll back, forward songs and videos. Every button is a small display. It can show the time, number of YouTube subscribers you have, comments on your channel and much more. With a single click, your YouTube comment page is opened. In Elgato Marketplace, you have everything to customize, personalize your stream deck, plugins, icon packs, profiles, sound, music. Honestly, the best extensions are not free. What are the use cases, benefits of using this device for a non-streamer? My Logitech keyboard does not have any next previous buttons. I am using Stream Deck to open any music app with a single click and control everything. You can download the dedicated plugins for Spotify or Apple Music. I have several shortcuts for apps, websites I interact most frequently like YouTube, DaVinci Resolve, WhatsApp, Spotify. You can also link any website like Formula One. Besides that, you can set up a dedicated action or multi-action for one button. For example, open Spotify, Google Chrome, YouTube and switch to my secondary speakers with one click. I see number of subscribers I have, number of channel views and number of videos I have. The data is being updated every minute but you can change the frequency. With a single click you are on your page. You need to download the YouTube Stats Tracker plugin from the Elgato store, it's free. You have the options video views, likes, comments, channel subscribers, views, videos, streaming online. You need the API key of your channel and channel ID to activate it. I will show you how to do it. You must be logged into your Google account which is linked to your YouTube channel. When you are doing it for the first time, you need to agree and continue. On the next side, select a project. It's going to be a new project. Give a name to your project. and create. It will take a little bit time. When it's finished, select the project you have created. On the next page, go to API and Services and Library. On the next page, scroll down and choose YouTube Data API V3. On this page, you just need to enable. Now go to Credentials and Create Credentials and API Key. Now you can just copy the API key and paste it to your Elgato Stream Deck. I'm a hardcore YouTube content consumer. I'm watching every day several hours videos. Most of the time I find myself using Stream Deck instead of my keyboard or mouse. Especially the back forward function I don't want to miss. There is a free plugin for Google Chrome. Most used functions are placed on the Stream Deck. Time-saving plugin, I would say. Open a new tab or window, switch between the tabs, etc.
I do not have any smart home devices, but I have some smart lights from different brands. Please do not buy smart lights from different brands. Different brands means different apps on your phone to control. Stream Deck Plus has four of the most common smart lights dedicated plugins. Instead of using apps on your phone, you can control everything with the Stream Deck. If your smart light brand has no plugin, you can use IFTTT to control it via API. You can use the Stream Deck as a remote control if you have Elgato prompter. Again, the physical knobs make this device very unique. Play, pause, scroll up, down, change the speed, change the text size, etc. Is it all this device can do? No, you can do much more with it. You can use it with your DaVinci Resolve with the paid plugin. Microsoft Teams integration is great with the free plugin. Honestly, I'm still exploring the possibilities. It's kind of endless what you can do with this device. When I'm not using it, it's in the corner as my information display, which shows me the time, temperature, number of subscribers I have, and so on. The question is, do you really need this device? especially when you are not a streamer? Does it solve any problems? The answer is no. Everything what this device is doing, you can do with your keyboard and mouse. But it saves a lot of time. It is something really nice to have, but you don't have to. Having the overview of weather, time, YouTube statistics, without visiting any page, starting apps, controlling your sound, pretty comfortable and time safe. If you are not tight on budget, buy it and you will love it but I would not recommend the models without knobs and touchscreen. I hope the video was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe and like the video. It helps me a lot. See you next time.